great to see you. Congratulations. I watched the movie last night. It's just insane. It's absolutely incredible. I'm sure it's gonna blow the world away. Uh, tell me how exciting this was for you. How does it feel to be part of such a, an iconic film? Uh, it, it's very exciting. Uh, it's also even more exciting because we've had to sit on this for two years and wait I for know. the world to come out of its shell. Um, but we're very excited to have this only in cinemas. You just mentioned you originally finished the movie uh, almost three years ago. It's been a while to finally come out. So what was your first impression, first thought when you finally got the chance to watch the film? Uh, well, I actually got to see it in in 2020, but we got to see it in a in a small private theater uh, on the Paramount lot uh, with just the cast, and we were all in masks, and we had to sit very far apart, and the, the, we were still very unsure of what uh, what this all meant, this whole pandemic thing meant. Uh, but now, two years later, I've seen it. Uh, I just saw it in San Diego at the premiere with a big crowd, and it was very exciting, and it was everybody was safe, and no one was getting <laughs> sick. And everybody was cheering at the end, and it was it was really um, it was really uh, a reminder of what the movies are, and it was very exciting to go back to the movies. So nice. And how was working next to Tom? Because I know you guys are friends; you do have a friendship. But how is he on set as a boss and off set as a friend? He's the same person. I mean, he is a he is a perfectionist. He is uh, a tremendous leader. He's, his enthusiasm for the movies is is uh, is pretty singular. What the hell? Good morning, aviators. This is your captain speaking. And we're off. Talking about being in shape, how is that thing that Tom looks younger than you in the movie? Hey, come on now. Uh, no, it's true. I, it's it's amazing. Uh, he, I'm a little bit younger than him, but he looks younger than me in the movie. I don't know. Maybe he's uh, on a better diet than I am. Tom Cruise, for example, took Jennifer to fly in the P-51, something that supposedly was not script, not script, as Jennifer just told me. Was there anything that you were not planning to do and you found yourself doing it? Uh, no, I didn't. I, by the way, I didn't get an invitation into the P-51, so I'm a little bit, uh, a little Hello, bit. Hello, Tom. But uh, <laughs> no, you know, it's, it was we were pretty regulated when we were on the, the naval base, especially when we were on the aircraft carrier. So I, I, I just wanted to make sure I didn't touch anything that was going to explode. Here we go. In three, two, one. And you were a teenager, I guess, when Top Gun came out. Do you remember seeing it for the first time? Who were you with? Uh, what happened to you at that moment? Like I don't remember who I was ago? with, but I certainly remember seeing it uh, in my hometown of St. Louis at the movie theater in the summertime. And I remember as soon as it ended, I just I, all I wanted to do was see it again. Uh, it was just so cool. If you would have to choose one of your characters to play again 30 years later, like Tom with Maverick, which one would you choose and why? Uh, I don't know. I, I would I would rather go back in time and, and play something that I played when I was in my 20s, because if I played Don <laughs> Draper 30 years later, he'd be in his 80s. I was uh, going to so... say that. I was going to say Don <laughs> Draper, exactly. <laughs> Nobody wants to see Don Draper in a wheelchair, so I, I don't know. <laughs> That's a tough one for me. My dad believed in you. I'm not going to make the same mistake. How much did this character has changed your life? Oh, for sure. Yeah, obviously, the, the, that's the defining moment in my career so far. Uh, it's afforded me some tremendous opportunities to, to do some great things in my career, and and uh, I'm very happy that I that I had both the opportunity to play uh, Don Draper and have that experience, but also have a career afterwards. In fiction, you were a publicist, you were a politician, uh, you were a thief. Did you uh, have other professions in real life before you could uh, leave uh, from acting? Oh yeah, I, you know, I was a teacher uh, for, for many years uh, and a waiter and a bartender. I did a lot of things to, to pay the bills before, before I was able to, to establish a career as an actor. And I'm happy for all of those experiences. That's, that's, what, that's what living life is. That's so nice to hear. It was lovely talking to you once again movie it's just insane it's incredible 
Thank you for this. After Thank so many much. years.